Hi, I'm Mike from Robotic Solutions. Today we're going to cover the software that's included with your RSI Cobra. We're going to cover topics such as loading a program to cut, changing your tool, and then also manually driving the robot if you get into any trouble. So let's start off by loading a program to cut. The first thing we're going to do is launch the software from the touch screen. Touch the file location on the screen to select the file you would like to load, and then select Open. Make sure the LC reset is turned on and then select Cycle Start. The robot then moves into a position so you can change to the appropriate tool if needed. But if you're good to go, select OK. The robot will then go into the tool presetting routine to measure the length and width of the tool to dictate the correct tool path for the part being cut. The robot will come from one direction and take measurements and then flip the spindle around to take the other side as well. This double check allows us to ensure the best accuracy possible for the tool being used. Once the presetting process is completed, the robot will then begin cutting the part on the turntable. If there comes a time when you would like to stop the robot so you can clean out the cell of large debris, push the pause button next to the cycle count to stop the robot and the process. You will then have the option to turn off the spindle for safety. Let's say the robot gets stuck on the material that you're cutting. You can touch the Robotic Solutions logo to open the advanced menu and select the Depart from 50mm button to jar it back from the material. From here, hit the home key to return to your job and select the resume button to continue. Be sure to use the pause button and not the cycle stop button if you are doing any sort of maintenance and you do not want to lose your place in the job that's being executed. Now we're going to go over the basics of doing a tool change for your robot. If you'd like to do a tool change, select the Robotic Solutions logo to open the advanced menu and then select Tool Change. From there, your robot will move into an accessible position for the operator. The next step is taking the supplied wrenches and getting them into position on the spindle. You will then use force in opposite directions to loosen the collet and then remove it with your hands. You will then remove the tool and make sure there is no debris that will affect the robot's performance. You can then insert the tool you would like to be using and tighten the collet until finger tight. You will then use the wrenches to again apply opposite pressure to tighten the collet to the spindle. Once you have the new tool fastened, be sure to secure the door shut and select OK from the software. The robot will then go through the presetter check to verify the type of tool being used. With this next section of the video, we're going to show you how to manually drive the robot if there's an instance where you need to reposition it. To start, you bring up the advanced menu by selecting the Robotic Solutions logo. From there, you will push and hold the axis on the right that you would like to move in either positive or negative. You can select the joint button to move the axis of the robot when pushing the same buttons. When you have the XYZ button selected, it moves the spindle in the workspace, left, right, up or down with the same buttons. You can make the robot go to the home position by simply selecting Go Home. To make the robot move faster, you can select a faster or slower speed underneath the axis control buttons and continue positioning it. These speed buttons represent the number of steps the robot will move. This has been an overview of the software that's included with the RSI Cobra, and I hope you found it helpful. If you still have any other pressing questions or concerns, please give us a call. Otherwise, you can find some more information on roboticsolutionsinc.com.